Theologically speaking, clouds are significant. It was a cloud that thundered over Sinai, a cloud that led God's people through the wilderness, and a cloud that filled the tabernacle and temple with the presence and glory of God. This cloud of God cannot be contained. It refuses to be constrained by four walls and a steeple, finding the cracks you didn't even know were there. God as a cloud is bigger and broader than you could ever imagine. And it is a cloud, writes the author of Hebrews, that contains all those who witness the work of God. It is not a great cloud of Christians or any particular creed, but a cloud of witnesses, those who have seen and heard, who find themselves caught up in the movement of God. Could it be that these are not two different clouds, but one and the same? God is a cloud filling the earth with God's presence. God has hands. They're attached to your wrists.